How's it going friends? I'm Cedric and I love classic men's style. Welcome back to the channel. On one of my previous videos, one of you told me, I'm a student, how do I shop on a budget because I don't have all that much money. I'm a student as well, I could say I'm still there. So, how do you build a wardrobe consisting of classic style which tends to be a little more on the pricey side? Well today I'm going to talk to you about that. But first, a word from our sponsor. Yes, they're back, Corona Cut. Looking good? Really? No, no, that's so 2019. This is 2020. You want to look like a Corona animal with long hair that doesn't do what you want, don't you? Well, if you're interested in the... There is no link in the subscription. This is not a real sponsorship. I hate my hair. I want to get a haircut. Sad Jashan noises. The first way you can save money on clothes is by buying fast fashion. Everyone tells you not to do it and I agree with them. <laughs> It's bad for the environment, the people working on the clothes don't get paid enough, the clothes don't last very long. It's not ideal. If you feel that fast fashion is not for you because it's not ethical or the quality is not good, then I have plenty of other options for you. The first other option is to buy second hand. And right now I am actually wearing a jacket that is second hand. Yeah, but whenever I go to a second hand store, I never find anything I like. Everything looks so bad. Nothing fits me. That is true. I feel that too. Everyone who buys second hand feels that. But the advantage of second hand is that it's very cheap. And if you invest a lot of time into it, that is your investment, not money, but time, you will find pieces that you like. And they might not fit perfectly, but when they fit close enough, you can still get them altered. For example, if you're wearing a jacket, the length of the jacket and the placement of the shoulders is good, that's good enough. And the rest, you can get altered. The jacket I'm wearing right now is actually something that I've altered myself. <laughs> I have shortened the sleeves, taken in the waist. If you're willing to invest that time into it, learn to alter clothes as well. Going to an alteration tailor is still going to be a good idea for the more difficult things. For example, the way it fits around your waist, the way it fits around your thighs. But you can learn to alter smaller things, such as... If you're willing to invest that time into it, definitely go for it. The... Next way to save money. What was the next way to save money? The next way to save money is to stick to the basics. When you buy clothes, buy clothes that are versatile. Versatile. When you have three shirts, three jackets and three pairs of trousers, if you can match every single one of those shirts with every single one of the jackets and every single one of the trousers, you get loads of options and I'm not gonna do the maths because I'm not good at it. And for that reason, it's always good to stick to the basics. You can do more with less. So for the next sip, I'm actually combining two tips. If you want to buy a winter coat, if you buy it in summer or at the start of spring, the stores are gonna want the winter coats out because they're not go going to sell very well. They are often going to ask a lower price. That goes together with shopping the sales. If you have favorite stores, subscribe to them. Ask to become a member, to get their weekly emails. Often it's spam. I know I get loads of it. But it is very useful because they will notify you when they are having a sale. And sometimes they have sales for members only. Don't buy because something is on sale. But if you see something you like and you wanted to buy it for a long time, think it over again. Do I really want this? Do I really need this? And if the answer is yes, you can go for it. My... I, I lost count. My next piece of advice is... An outlet store is usually a store where brands sell the clothes that they can't get sold. I bought this shirt. This shirt.
in an outlet store. However, be careful, look for quality, because often brands will make clothes specifically for outlet stores that are lower quality. That also means that in many cases, those clothes will be a little bolder. So if you want to wear a bold waistcoat, like the one that I wore in earlier videos, that was actually bought in a suit supply outlet. And I understand a lot of people didn't buy it because at first when I saw it, I thought, I'm not gonna buy it because what can I match that with? But I couldn't get it out of my head. And I love the waistcoat. Anyway, my final piece of advice is shop for quality. Quality over quantity. <laughs> The clothes that I have, I want them to last longer. I want them to fit better. I want them to look nicer. In the long run, these clothes will save me more money. That was it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, <laughs> hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for, ver for further videos, definitely leave them in the comment section. I hope to see you next time, and I'll see you later.